Well, we have a pretty big update on the NASCAR Electric Series, and this one comes out of left field. Let's talk about it. Hello, everyone. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short. And this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news, and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think of a NASCAR electric series? Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. Let's get right to it. So on the newest episode of the Flagrant Podcast, they had Dana White on the show. I'll post a link to the episode for the Flagrant Podcast in the description. It's around two and a half hours long of an episode, but they're interviewing Dana White about everything he's done with UFC, and he gets to a point in the interview where he's going over his other investments, his other ownerships in sports leagues like Nitro Cross. He owns Travis Pastrana's Nitro Cross, the Rally Cross, and the electric cars. I enjoy watching the Nitro cars. Well, he also goes on to say that he has a potential deal lined up with NASCAR after 4th of July. Take a listen to this clip here from the Flagrant Podcast. And we own Travis Pastrana's Nitro Cross, which is uh, uh, electric car racing. Mm -hmm. We're actually, I'm, after 4th of July, I do 4th of July at my house in Maine. I'm flying to NASCAR and we're doing a deal with NASCAR. Oh, nice. We're going to be the electric series for NASCAR. Wow. So, yeah, oh, that's we're cool. We're working on that deal right now. I don't know, but some of you may remember, I think it was like a year ago, might have been a little bit more, where we had those pictures leak of the supposed electric NASCAR stock car. If you forgot about the picture, I'm going to put it up right here for a minute. I think a lot of people were curious and wondering when we were going to possibly get an update, if any, on this potential electric series. Well, this update right here came from left field. I know that Dana White is a very savvy businessman and he makes a lot of deals and he loves he loves sports. He loves working with multiple sports. But him going on such a popular podcast, flagrant podcast, I don't listen to it all that often, but it's one of the most popular podcasts in the world right now. And him going on there and saying this, there wasn't anything else said about this potential NASCAR deal. It tells me this is for real. So this is another story we'll really have to keep up with. We don't have a lot of details. Obviously, like I said, we had that leaked photo of the potential car that would be used in this EV series. And now we have this clip from Dana White saying that he has a potential deal lined up with NASCAR and that he's actually going to fly out after 4th of July. So if we see Dana White at either Chicago or Pocono, because Chicago is a couple of days after 4th of July, or at Pocono, which is a little over a week after 4th of July, if we see Dana White at NASCAR, we 100% know why that they're getting a deal done. Who knows? He might not even be showing up to the racetrack. He might just be flying into Charlotte to make this deal. But this is very cool and interesting information I'm just wondering when we're going to get another update on this, if any, because who knows, this deal might not work out. There might not be a deal that actually happens. Dana White, in this little clip here, though, seems very confident that he's going to get a deal done with NASCAR, and this is very cool to have someone like Dana White involved with the sport. Dana White, a very popular, well-known human being can bring a lot of eyes to the sport and we've seen how he's able to promote the UFC the UFC was nothing around 20 years ago the UFC wasn't anything and now it's some people consider it one of the most popular sports leagues in the world I wouldn't say that but a lot of people do a lot of people love UFC more than anything but I mainly made this video to kind of make it a big discussion I really want to get everybody's thoughts on this what do you think about a NASCAR electric series I don't lie to me nascar going electric it seems like everybody's kind of doing that now you have all these major manufacturers making electric cars you have formula e now that's a very popular series it's a very 
very good racing, actually, too. I really enjoy the racing they put on. Then you got Nitro Cross with Travis Pastrana, the Electric Rally Cross Series. It's, it's very interesting the way electric cars are developing in motorsports as quick as it is. And I just really want to get everybody's thoughts. Do you like the idea of NASCAR going electric? Why do you like it? And if you don't like it, tell me why you don't like it. Also, let me know how you feel about Dana White potentially getting involved with NASCAR. Do you think that's a good thing for NASCAR, adding a personality like Dana White? Or do you think it's a bad thing? I look at it as a good thing because he seems like he's a very smart businessman and he also brings a lot of eyes wherever he goes. A lot of people love Dana White. Like I mentioned though, this is a story we're going to have to keep up with. I'm going to update you guys on these stories. I really hope to see some more information about this potential NASCAR electric series. But that'll do it for me. Leave your comments down below. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace. Yeah.